Oh, clever. Oh, she's so cute. Good evening. It is Monday. I know it's Monday. Is it the 19th of Feb today? I think so. Getting on for about 11. Sorry the camera is moving. I am holding it because I can't be bothered to faff with my stand. And Neris has come to join in. Um, yes, it's getting on for about 11 at night. I have makeup on. <laughs> I feel pretty. Um, I have makeup on because I have been to the Yorkshire Indie Business Club meeting this evening. I uh, had a really lovely time, made a new friend, <laughs> and um, yeah, sat next to a lovely lady called Sarah who had been there for, uh, had come along for the first time, there is. <laughs> Uh, she is an independent travel agent. Sorry, Neris was going for my water. Um, so yeah, we had a lovely chat and then she gave me a lift home at the end. So I was home you know, about an hour earlier than I normally would be. So that was quite nice. <laughs> Although I did mean Ned was still awake when I got back. Which, actually no, it was lovely. It was lovely because he was really happy that I was home and I got a really big cuddle. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it really. Oh, I met um, the most gorgeous puppy. Uh, so Gemma, the lady who runs the club, she got a puppy for Christmas. She'd been wanting one for ages. And her puppy is called Beanie. Don't know how old she is now. Um, but yeah, she's getting on. Well, no, she didn't get her at Christmas. She was told at Christmas that she would be getting her beanie. Um, she's a Sharpe crossed with a Staffy, I think. But there's a bit of Chihuahua in there as well. It's an interesting mix. But she brought, Gemma brought Beanie along to the meeting today. And she's just lovely. I've been licked and nibbled on. And I've had cuddles. <laughs> I was listening. Honestly, I was listening to Gemma, I promise. But also very distracted by the puppy. <laughs> anyway, I am just having a quick break from uh, crocheting the sacred space blanket that I think I showed you the other day. I still haven't taken a picture, but I will. Uh, I'm being a little bit naughty and having... A late night snack. These are one of my favourite things. Um, they're from M&S. They're marzipan balls. I don't know how well that's showing up. I love marzipan. And these are coated in chocolate, which doesn't make them better, but does make them very, very nice. <laughs> uh, was I going to mention anything else? I don't think I was. There is a sat on my knee now. Calm down. She is. Oh no, she says, 
Oh, I don't want to look at the camera. I sympathise there. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, I think that's it for tonight. I will check back in in a couple of days, probably. Talk to you soon. Good morning. It is Friday. I think it's the 23rd of Feb. I could be wrong. Um, just a quick little one. I am finally, finally getting around to doing a finish up Friday. So I have chosen two projects actually for today. Um, they should not take me long to finish. So hopefully, unless I get distracted, I will get both of these done by the end of the day. I have got this, which is a tea towel. Essentially, I never really knew what I was making until I was about halfway through. I've decided it's a tea towel. Um, it's just a mix of random cotton yarns that I had in my stash. All I need to do is weave in the ends and add a hanging loop. So if I don't get that done by the end of the day, something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> um, and then I've got this little turtle. Who is pretty cute, but does not have a face. And his head is very floppy. <laughs> so I need to sort that out. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the head. Ideally, I would have put some craft wire in to you know, make it, well, stronger. God, words, come on. To make it stronger. Um, but then also it would be poseable. Hello, Neris. But it is a little late for that. Shush. <laughs> um, so I'm not quite sure what I'll do, but I will try and figure something out. And again, I didn't add safety eyes on purpose, if I remember rightly. I think I had always intended to embroider the face. Um, so I'll just do eyes and a little smile, maybe. I don't know whether to do sleepy eyes because they're easy <laughs> uh, or to have a go at some proper embroidery. Uh, Cassandra at Craftably Ever After has a little tutorial on how to embroider eyes. So I might give that a go. Uh, but that does mean finding some... Um, embroidery thread which I have but I need to have not just black I'll need white possibly as well or uh, yeah, possibly even another colour I don't know so I need to have a little think and see what I'm going to do um I have got to go out later I've got a semi-emergency appointment with my ophthalmologist as my eyes have been playing up lately um I'm not hugely worried. I think it's probably just natural deterioration, which has always kind of been in the pipeline. Uh, but I, I want to know what's going on, and I am, I am a little bit worried. <laughs> um, it has been playing on my mind a bit. Uh, so yeah, I will... Well, depending on what kind of mood I'm in, I'll update you after I've been. Depends how it goes. Um, I think that's pretty much what I've got planned for today. So I will check back in with you later on. Okay, I am back. It is about 10 to 8 in the evening. Um, sorry if you can hear Ned in the background. He's on his way to bed, but not asleep yet. Um, and Kelvin's out tonight, so it's just me on duty. Uh, the projects I mentioned earlier. Tea towel's finished unconventional tea towel, circular one, but just using up scrap cotton. It has a lovely little loop to hang it with. Finished. I'm gonna go hang it up in the kitchen in a minute. The turtle is no longer a turtle. It wasn't looking right, I wasn't happy with it. I couldn't get the neck to go any stiffer. It was just flopping about all over the place. So in here are now lots of little balls of scrap yarn 
and a big pile of fibre fill, which will all go back into my stash. Um, the yarn will go in my scrap yarn box to be turned into chaos yarn at some point in the future. And the fibre fill will just go back in my box full of stuffing and other things. Um, about my eyes, there's good news and bad news. <laughs> the good news is that there is nothing major going on. There's no, I don't know, weird fluid build up or, you know, retinas detaching or <laughs> anything like that. Um, however, the condition I have, uh, which is called cone dystrophy, is degenerative. I've actually, I've actually done really well. Apparently, people with cone dystrophy tend to pretty much completely lose their vision in their 20s. I am now 36, so could be worse. Uh, but yeah, chances are that the deterioration is now speeding up, which we knew was going to happen, or no, we were pretty certain was going to happen at some point. It's a tough thing to deal with, but you know, yeah, it could be worse. It could be worse. Um, I need to get in touch with my, well, my preferred consultant at York Hospital and see if I can go and see him uh, just to sort of double check everything. They've got a bit more equipment at the hospital to sort of look a bit more in depth at things. And he will also know if there were any clinical trials or anything like that going on that I could get involved in. They weren't last time, but things change. Uh, so that's that. Not fantastic, but could you know could be a lot, lot worse. So all in all, it's the best result I could have hoped for. It's probably the best thing to say. Um, I think that's about it. We are planning to go and see my sister and my niece again tomorrow. Um, it does depend. I was feeling a bit ropey this morning and Ned had a bit of a temperature first thing. So we'll just keep an eye on things, see how we go overnight. Obviously we don't want to make them ill. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can go and see them, take them some lunch. <laughs> and uh, that's it, I think, otherwise. Fairly quiet weekend. Planned, anyway. Who knows? <laughs> and that's that. Just about a week left. Less than a week left, technically, of Feb. So I'll try and get a bit more footage over the next week. And then I'll be wrapping up. All right. No, lost my train of thought then. <laughs> All I was going to say was I'll be back at some point. is officially over. So I thought I'd probably better just check in and wrap up the month before I go to bed. Um, it's been a funny few days. I 
came down with a nasty cold on Tuesday morning. Um, spent Tuesday and most of Wednesday feeling like death warmed up. Um, Ned was also not well yesterday and stayed home from school. Um, he's fine now. Uh, yeah, it was weird. He gets, um, he'll get like a really high temperature and be otherwise absolutely fine. It's strange. Something we need to, I think, talk to the doctors about at some point. Um, but for now, he's fine. He was back at school today. Um, I have been to York Hospital today uh, to have my eyes checked up on. Um, that is something I do roughly once a year, depending on when they get around to it. Anyway, but this one was an extra appointment. Um, my eyes have been particularly weird for the past few weeks. Um, for those of you who, who don't know, uh, I have a condition called cone dystrophy, which is a, a whole one of many forms of um, macular degeneration, which is a kind of catch-all term for a condition that affects the retinas at the back of your eye, which is the bit that um, all the cones and rods are on. Um, in my case, it is mostly the cones that are damaged and are degenerating, and they are the ones that, this is very simplified, but they deal with um, processing colour and fine detail and light. Um, so as a result, I am very photosensitive. Bright light, daylight is not fun. Um, I am beginning to go colourblind. Uh, and yeah, struggle with detail, basically. Um, and I have, because it, it affects the centre of your vision first, um, I have a little patch in the centre of my vision, basically where, you know, that little patch, I'm essentially blind. Um, so yeah, anyway, all of that to say, um, that little patch <laughs> has been just behaving oddly for the past few weeks. Um, I saw my private optician, optometrist, she might be an ophthalmologist, I'm not sure. Very, very lovely lady anyway, and she's very, very good at her job. Um, she is the one who first noticed what the issue was when I was struggling with the beginning of the symptoms in my very early 20s. Um, yeah, I saw her last week and she had a good look and said, you know, everything doesn't look like anything sinister is happening. It is just the, the degeneration has progressed as we have always been expecting it to do. Uh, but, you know, get yourself a, an appointment at the hospital and, and get checked again. So uh, that's where I've been today. Um, seen my favourite consultant, which is nice. Um, he actually explains things in a way that makes sense, which is good. Treats me like a human being, which I have found a lot of hospital consultants don't do. Um, but yeah, he is lovely. Big shout out to Mr. Hansen from York Hospital, just in case anybody, <laughs> anybody watching this happens to know him. Um, yeah. He's, uh, he's a good guy. And yes, anyway, the the upshot of that appointment is that, yeah, 
everything how would you put it I, everything is structurally sound <laughs> or at least as much as it was last time um just you know obviously something is changing but you know there's nothing alarming going on it is just that this is a condition that is going to progress long term and that's what it's doing so you know not great obviously the situation isn't <laughs> isn't one i've ever wanted to be in um but good news overall there's nothing you know, there are all kinds of horrible things that could be happening and aren't so that's good um otherwise i guess it's been a fairly uneventful month really i mean you'll have seen um bits and pieces I can't remember at the moment how much I've recorded. <laughs> um, but hey, by the time you see this bit, you will have seen. So I guess that doesn't really matter, does it, at the moment? Um, and yeah, on to March tomorrow. March has got our wedding anniversary in it. Ten years. It's got Mother's Day, literally two days later. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the first half of the Easter holiday this year we are going to go to Edinburgh for that first week almost maybe not the whole week I can't remember but a few days at least um, so we're looking forward to that it seems mad that another school holiday is coming around so quickly though this time of year the school terms are really short which I do not approve of, but hey, it's fine. Let's see if we can get Ned all the way to the end of term without another day off. Sick, uh, please. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's looking like a good month anyway. Hopefully, um, I started doing these monthly vlogs. Excuse me. <clears throat> started doing these monthly vlogs thinking that it would be really good to do one video that, you know, it's like a month in one video it would be really really cool um having published the january one and being about to edit and publish the february one i'm not sure it's the right choice most well two reasons one it means the videos are really long not necessarily a problem. I like watching long videos myself. Um, also because because it's a whole month, by the time I get it up onto YouTube, everything from sort of the first half of the video is wildly out of date. So I think what I'm gonna try in March is I'm not going to have a schedule, I'm not going to do like a certain number of days at a time or anything like that, but I will try and kind of edit as I go along, basically because that'll be quicker as well. Um, and then when I think I've got enough content for one video, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that, I'll upload it at that point, I think. <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't really know. I'll play around with it. Because I, I like, I like that I'm doing a vloggy thing as well as a podcasty thing. <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice to share bits of life with you. And it, I think it's making me appreciate things a bit more, think about life a bit more. Um, I'm gonna sneeze, I think, hang on. Might be okay, don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and 
you know, the past few years have sped by really quickly and having been recording bits for this last couple of months time is still going quickly don't get me wrong you know it's the end of february already um but i think it has just stretched out a bit because i'm actively thinking about the days more and about what i'm doing what i can share with you and that i don't know i'm not explaining this very well but <laughs> yeah it kind of feels like it's slowing time down a bit which i like anyway that's my plan such as it is <laughs> plan is, uh, is a big word for <laughs> what i've just described um but right now i need to go and tidy things up and brush my teeth and clean my face and go to bed <laughs> so that is what i'm going to do and yeah i hope you enjoy seeing what i've been up to and i will be back on your screens at some indeterminate point in the future <laughs> okay my lovely thank you as always for taking time to watch me babble on Bye for now.